This is a Sony TV remote control model RMGD016. I had some problems with it. The volume and the program button stopped working, so I wanted to open it up to repair it, and it was quite tricky. So I'm making this video to help other people that uh, may be trying to want to get in and open this up. It's a very well-made um, piece of plastic here and uh, almost perfectly invisibly sealed. So the first thing here is, as you can see, it's already opened. I'm just holding it together. The first challenge you've got is that it's got an on-off button here, although there's nothing that restricts that. And this slides open to reveal a battery compartment. Now, you can't get this off because it has a locking set of lock, locking legs over here. So the way I got it off was I put my hand over here and I gently pulled this side up with my thumb and I pulled it hard and it slipped forward and it came out. As you can see, it's a separate piece, very nicely made plastic. Um, the challenge I had at the time was how on earth do I get this off the top because on observing it, it looked like it had been radio frequency sealed, but after playing it around, around with it for a while, I noticed when twisting it that there was a bit of movement on the top, so I realized then that this must clip in. So I took a piece of flat metal. I don't have that here, but it was a piece of metal about this wide, the spatula demonstrates, and I inserted it in here, and I gently twisted it up. Uh, a little note of caution, I was twisting it at this point over here, and as you can see, one of the plastic snaps is there, and I've damaged it slightly, and also damaged this one, because at the time I couldn't see what I was opening. So open it with caution and jiggle it gently, don't force it. Uh, but once you've done that, it all click, clicks off and there you have access to it. So what I did is I took isopropyl alcohol and I, with a cloth, wiped this all down. And I took um, some Q-tip or cotton bud and I wiped each of these contacts. I then put this back together again, but I found that the two buttons were still not working. So I took a pencil eraser and I rubbed the two troubled contacts. So any of the contacts that are not working, um, or you might even give it a shot, rub all of them with a pencil eraser and then just gently dust it off. And what I did also is I, I pushed the rubber buttons out over here and I took the eraser and I rubbed them against the buttons as well. And I then tested it afterwards and it worked. So it's all good now. So it's just a case of putting it back together, which I'm going to try and do. And as you can see, it snapped beautifully in. And it's a testimony to Sony Engineering. You would not think that that is a removable piece. And then it's a case of Putting this back in here, I haven't done this before, so there you go, just click it in, and voila, we have a remote control working. I hope this helped you, and um, just give it a thumbs up. Thanks.